what are some of the other social media laws that we need to be aware of in South Africa, Emma? Yeah, so 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 defamation and privacy are the big ones. But the, the third one that I use all the time in my business is the criminal offense of criminal urea. Now, as I said, with defamation, it has to be published to somebody else. Criminal urea, even if somebody sends you a direct message just to you, and it hurts your dignity. So that's the, the definition of criminal urea. If somebody seriously infringes your dignity, you can go and lay a criminal charge against that person. And if somebody says something directly to you, that's so hurtful. So it can be racism, it can be homophobia, it can be accusing you of some terrible thing. We've just had a case with anti-Semitism in the Randberg Match Court. Um, even if it's a direct message, you can still go and lay this criminal charge of criminal urea. So I like the crime of criminal urea because it's very generic. We can use it in cyberbullying cases, racism cases, um, uh, what other cases, doxing cases, uh, image-based violence cases. Somebody takes a photograph of my face and photoshops me onto a naked body and puts me on a porn site. That's criminal urea. There are now specific crimes. So there's the image-based violence crimes under <clears throat> the Cyber Crimes Act and under the Films and Publications Act. I'm speaking in legal speak. Basically, if somebody shares a private sexual photo or video of you without your prior consent, 300,000 rand fine, four years in prison. It's fabulous. It's brand new. It came into force last year um, and we've been working on it for years. So so, so completely thrilled about it. Um, and it's a, it's a big sanction. And, and, and again, to your point about like, what if it's fake news? Again, there's a provision in that law which says that if the person depicted can be identified, I mean, is identified or can be identified. So even if somebody shares a picture of, I don't know, some private parts and says, this is Emma Sadler, even though my face isn't in it, I can still lay that criminal charge against them because of the indirect identification. 